Yeah, Aquarion is a mech show, and all these ships are going to join up to make one big ass-kicking mech robot, right? But the coolest part oh, yes. is that when they... You bastards. Sorry. When, Thank you. When they all join up to make this huge mech robot, we have to join physically, spiritually, and sexually. <laughs> no. <laughs> so every time we join, we have to go through the throes of... Holy crap. Yeah. Like, uh -oh. like, we were looking at the script, and like when they join, it said cries in an <laughs> ecstatic moan. I was like, are you kidding? There's like six, like uh, like four guys and four girls that are throughout the show gonna have to sound like they're. Who else is working on it? Huh? Who else is working on it? <laughs> Can you say? Uh yeah, Brandon Potter, Brina Palencia, uh, Colleen is in it. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I'll let you find out. It'll be a surprise. Speaking of sexuality. <laughs> We've been trying to watch Ergo Proxy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dude! I'm like, I hear Travis. Could that be any less? Is that gay robot? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god, that's yeah. Travis! Where did you tra like, wait, how did you channel so that awesome. into so, your performance? <laughs> so, have you seen Ergo Proxy? Hands up, have you seen Ergo Proxy? You know, uh, her robot buddy? Iggy? Iggy? Iggy! That's him. I'm a gay robot. <laughs> Say hey! Oh my god. No, it was like, um, because all the Funimation stuff we do in Texas. So I came out to California and uh, New Generation Pictures was doing Ergo Proxy and they were like, we want you to come on this for this character. Iggy, he's a big 6'5", huge entourage robot. I was like, sweet! They go, and he's gay. I was like, they're like, gay robot? <laughs> yeah. So everything he does is, Riel, let's go get some shoes. Let's go shopping. These shoes are three hundred dollars. <laughs> let's get them. Oh, it's fun being a gigantic cyborg robot that's gay. At least you're not the plane. He's not. He's not. Over over. That's true. He's not completely gay. He just kind of sounds a little partially gay. He's not attracted to other male robots. No. 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 He's cool. Awesome. It's so funny because having you know seen your past work and knowing you and it's just every time he delivers a very flamboyant line we just have to <laughs> know, right? we just laugh and laugh and I laugh. Do, I do it and John the client will be like, okay, uh, this next time let's um gain up a little bit. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh. I love it. Yes, black sleeve in the back. He and I were, we were, we met on horseback in an old, in an old, in an old western town. There were tumbleweeds, and somewhere in the distance you heard. Profile alchemist. I don't, I don't remember the first time I met Vic. I'm trying to remember where it was. I don't. Room. Let's call him and ask. It was your room. I don't know. Why? Do you know? Do you know what I don't know? Is this a trick question? <laughs> Just curious? Are you filming this? I am. I am. We are. <laughs> oh, no, stop. stop. No, don't stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday weekend. I have about this much of my brain working. <laughs> yes, kitty girl, I forgot you. I'm sorry. I'm now back to you, so I ask. Besides the miniskirt and the dog line? Um, 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 Only one line, the one line. I know, it's the one, the one line. Eight years ago. I don't know! I don't know, do you have a favorite? Um, what were you doing? You do? The miniskirt line. The miniskirt line. We already heard that. Do it again? I love dogs! Uh, I, don't know. I don't know if I have a, a favorite one besides that. Uh, like a favorite episode. Tifa, in the back. Right? Am I right? Okay, good. Oh. What's up? Dude, come up here.
here? Let me show you. Let me show you what's going to become in the next like year or so a a mandate. It has to be mandatory for all miniskirts. I, I, I saw I saw this in her in Anime Boston and. Immediately, effective immediately, you must Holy have a kick-ass garter belt with a weapon in it when you are wearing a mini skirt. That's awesome. Turn and turn and pose. Yeah, you got a little pirouette. You got to turn. Oh yeah. Wow. My dad would kill me. I know. My dad would kill me too. Thank you. Wow. It looks lovely. Is that a real tattoo? Yeah, that's my tattoo. What does it say? Next to the garter belt. Yeah, yeah, her, her, turn and face her, turn and face her. <laughs> That's called state's evidence. <laughs> this is gonna come back and haunt me. What? <laughs> this entire weekend is. <laughs> Dude, those pictures are so stupid looking. I think, I think I'm, I think I'm hanging from things. I think give you a very special series. Yeah, her, her birthday gift. He drew so pictures, right? Yeah, if you don't know, Sunny Strait is like an amazing artist. Yeah. And Colleen said, just throw something out there crazy and you'll be able to draw it. So I said, why don't you draw a teddy bear beating up a little kid? <laughs> <laughs> That's a part of why I just thought of it. And he's got this teddy bear wailing on this little kid. It looks like... God? <laughs> and then I think he started drawing. <laughs> just talk. Just talk. Yeah, all right, all right, just talk. Family show. Sorry, yes. Anyway, it was funny. Ask Sonny, he'll tell you. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> it's a funny looking bear, though. Sir, in the way back. You have a question now? You're just raising your hand? I also like to work with Robert DePaul in a second hand line. <laughs> <laughs> you mean after he punch. punched me? <laughs> <laughs> Who's heard the Robert DePaul story? Who wants to hear it again? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so I did Secondhand Lions, which was Robert Duvall, Michael Caine, and Haley Joe Osmond, a little freaky kid from Sixth Sense. Is that how you addressed him on the set? You're like, oh. I was like, yo, freaky kid! <laughs> Do you see dead people now? <laughs> uh, and, uh, we. <laughs> We had, a, we, had a, we had a fight scene where I come in and I'm supposed to, uh, well, me and three other guys, we come in and we're supposed to be picking a fight. Are you against Robert Duvall? Robert Duvall and Michael Caine, who were both elderly like gents. Yeah, he was like 73 at the time. Well, that makes it better. I know. <laughs> a little better. And, uh, and uh, we, had re we had rehearsed for two weeks this huge fight scene. All these punches being thrown, knees to the head, flying over the bar, crashing the tables. So we get to the day of the shoot, and when you shoot a feature film, there are usually three different cameras running at all times, so they get different angles, and about 90 people behind the cameras, like working on the set. So it's a little intimidating, because they're all staring at you. You're like, hey, okay, here we go. And uh, the day of the shoot, Robert Duvall comes on and goes, hey, I want to do the fight scene. And we were like, uh, we, have a, we have a stunt double for you, sir. You, you don't have to do fight scenes. He's like, no, no, shoot, I'll do it. Oh, so we took 30 minutes and Producers learned the like, fight oh, scene. Oh, liability, oh my God. Yeah, that we had been rehearsing for two weeks. The fight starts off with me running up to Robert Duvall and throwing this huge punch, right? And he's supposed to duck and get out of the way and then knee me in the head and all this other stuff. So he's standing there, right? He's... He's getting ready, all these cameras, 90 people. Here's multiple Oscar winner, Robert Duvall. They're like, ready, and action. I run up and I'm like, and I get to right here, and I go, I got a duck. And he's just standing there. Like I almost knocked out Robert Duvall. I had, I had everything I had coming behind this punch. I was like, oh crap, <laughs> stop. Like, do I either take off the director because I'm wasting film and doing another tape, or do I punch him in the face? I was like, you got to duck, dude. He's like, oh, am I ducking here? I was like, oh, my God. So you, if you watch the movie in slow, when I throw the punch, just because I didn't know if he was going to duck again, because he kind of ducks. He's like, <laughs> the, the punch that I throw, where if you punch somebody, it'd be like that. I'm like this. <laughs> 